Hello YouTube, this is going to be a quick video just overviewing one of my favorite applications. It's called Page Layers. You can actually get it at pagelayers.com. It's also available on the Mac App Store. I'm not sure if there's a Windows version of it. But basically what the, the program does, it's an application that allows you to enter a URL, you know, website address into the address bar. It visits the website and allows you to make a screenshot of that site along with it allowing you to make you know standard flattened image screenshots it allows you to also make full featured PSD files that include text layers that are you know in some cases fully editable so I'm gonna go ahead and kinda demonstrate um, how that works okay so I'm gonna actually go to the application here I have MSN.com already pulled up so Okay, now to create a screenshot with this application is pretty straightforward. You have two different options. You can use the icons here to the right. Uh, if you drag this PNG file to a folder in your finder, it will create a, you know, a flattened screenshot of the full web page. Now if you grab this PSD file here and you drop it into your finder window, it will create a layered PSD file. You know, it's, you know, you can open it up in Photoshop, change the layers, that sort of thing. But that option won't create a PSD file with text that's still live. Okay, to do that, you actually have to go here to the screenshot option and click Save As. Okay, once it pops up, there's this option here that says Generate Text Layers. You select that option, you click Save, and it will actually create the PSD file for you with the text. Okay, I'm going to go to Photoshop to demonstrate that. Okay, now we're back in Photoshop. I actually have the file created by Page Layers opened up. It captures the full length of the page, so if it's a pretty long page, in the case of MSN.com, it's going to capture pretty much the whole thing. So I'm going to kind of scale out so you can kind of see the length of the PSD file. Okay, I'm going to go back in. Okay, let's say that I want to edit some of this text. I can just kind of right click it in this case scenario, so I can go to the layer. Okay, in this case, uh, we see that it's there's you know a little notification here to let me know that this text and the font that I have installed aren't matching. So when I click on it, I have to update this text layer so that I can edit it. Okay, some cases it changes the way that it's viewed, so it's not always one to one. You know, other cases it doesn't. But what I like to do is this, um, you know, if I'm redesigning a client's site, I always make sure that first I have the exact same fonts installed on my computer. And um, if the text changes, it's not a big deal because, you know, I just replace it. I just change I just change the styling back. But more importantly, I can type whatever I want, you know. I can type in hello, you know, I can save it. So it's rendered there. I can go back and I can, you know, change the font to something different, you know. Open sans here. Okay. Make it bold. I can change the size of the font, you know. I can, you know, edit it or, you know, move it around, whatever. And, you know, basically you can do this through with any of the layers, you know go here to this image here take this image I can you know apply you know a layer style to it And also, it, it kind of organizes um, the document according to the DOM structure of the HTML file. So, um, as you see here in your layer panel, um, certain elements are you know named with HTML elements like H4 for header four, div with a you know a class of team base that sort of thing, and then you know everything is grouped like that. So you can just you know you know hide you know, full blocks of content. You can reorganize them, you know, so that I want this over here, I can take this and, you know, basically move it over here if I want to. You know, I can duplicate it if, if you know, if I want to, you know. 
there's so many different options. I mean, along with that, I mean, using this combined with your, you know, standard Photoshop skills, you know, it's pretty easy to take an existing site, convert it into a PSD, and then, you know, kind of just paint over it, you know, explore different concepts to get the design that you want, get your mock-ups out there, or your uh, comps for your clients. So there you have it. It's a full overview of this application. I think this application is one of those must-haves if you still use Photoshop for your, you know, web design. I know there's a trend now in the industry to kind of just develop everything in the browser. I kind of do a hybrid approach. I kind of do both. Um, it really depends upon what's already set up. If a client already has a site that's already built and they want me to edit the CSS, then I just kind of inspect with Firebug and, you know, build my styles up there. But if they're starting from scratch, they have wireframes or they have ideas, or even if they have an existing site and they want to go in a different direction, I kind of use this application to kind of get the, you know, the, the framework in place, and then I kind of build on top of that. So uh, check back with my channel later on. I'll have more videos coming up pretty soon. I'll be covering all different types of topics. I'll be getting into some coding. I'll get into some live design. I'll even get into, you know, some game development somewhere in the future. Okay? Thanks.